everyone, and welcome to episode number four of my Minecraft Let's Build series. And in this episode, <clears throat> we are going to be testing out some different pathway designs and some different um, custom tree designs. Now, let me talk about pathways first. Now, obviously, there's the standard pathway with the um, you know grass path. Oops, not supposed to do that. Uh, basically where you just get grass and then you uh, right click it with a hoe and it turns into this nice kind of like yellowish block almost I think it's like more yellowish block and if you're in creative mode you can middle click them to get them so that you don't have to use a uh, shovel but besides that you see this is a nice path but it's not the best and there are several other paths so several other path designs that you could really use so I'm going to pretty much be going over quite a few of those at least in a rustic way then uh, and then the custom trees you could have your average standard tree like you could have just a oak tree or a jungle tree or you could have this lovely mixture of both oak and jungle it's just like it feels like wild and it feels in nature and just it feels like it could be natural but unfortunately in minecraft it's not so let's get on to the pathways obviously there's this one so i'm going to just punch out a f i'm just going to actually i think i'm just going to create a whole new pathway so you could do this or let me see here let me get some Gravel, cobblestone, uh, some gra uh, cobblestone, uh, and gravel. And then I'm looking for moss stone. Let me just type in moss stone. There you go. And so you can kind of create a block like this. So you can, you can do is you can go through and punch out random blocks of a pathway kind of just punch them out in the direction of where you want to build so let's have the pathway that we're doing right now go to here and then you just want to fill those in with a uh... with a block type so take cobblestone so I did all this and then you just want to fill this in with cobblestone so just place these maybe like one right here one right here and then just all around then you want to do the exact same thing but just place out just punch out different blocks around that same kind of area uh, and then you'll go back and put in some gravel and then you'll go back and put in some moss stone and then just in the end you kinda get um, this nice little pattern going of just different blocks and they just look like it just looks like a nice gray road and I I don't really I don't really use this a lot but it trust me it does look really nice so you would punch this out, punch this out, this, this, this. Just random blocks all over the place. And I would suggest starting with cobblestone because you want there to be a lot of cobblestone. And then you want, you want to have quite a bit of moss stone just to get that green color going. And in clear spots right here, you maybe, you might want to add just like, I don't know, some moss stone there. And then like some gravel there or something just some more and if it doesn't look natural or natural if it doesn't look nice you can always just tweak it just so it looks uh, just so it looks as good as you want it to and how you want it to so generally in general just creates this pathway and if you wanted to fill in the blocks and you could another alternative would be to only use one block and that would be if I can find it um oh it would be coarse dirt. Now, how you craft coarse dirt? Let me just, because I know quite a few people don't know, don't actually know how to craft coarse dirt. So just in, just in case you don't know how to craft coarse dirt, let me show you. Uh, I need gravel, gravel, gravel. Oh, I can just there we go. So you want to get a crafting table, put gravel like this, dirt like this, and then you get coarse dirt. So that's basically how you craft it. Just telling you, just in case you didn't know. So what you want to do is you want to just kind of punch out a load of blocks. Like, uh, try to not make them too continuous like I did 
right here. You just want to punch out a load of blocks going in like just going in the path that way that you want. Let's have this one go over here. Then go back through and punch them more. Maybe have them link up almost. Or yeah, have some of them link up. Just to create like these weird random shapes. And then the beauty, of course, there, just in case you didn't know, is that it uh oh, I think I might need to punch some blocks out over here a bit more. Uh the beauty, of course, there is that it won't grass cannot spread to it, so it will always remain like a dirt path. So let's just do this. So now you want to just go back and fill in all of this with coarse dirt. And now coarse dirt can be naturally uh, can be naturally found in a savanna X M hills or something. Well, basically the really, really, really tall savanna hills that you see that go up to like Y. 200 yeah uh this can naturally be found in those biomes it can also well it can, it can also be found in mesa plateaus and i don't think it can be found anywhere else but yeah it can be crafted with dirt and gravel so it's not i mean it's not expensive to craft so uh unless you live like right near a mesa or savannah i don't see why you just you wouldn't just craft these things but then you just get like this little nice pathway and then and then these are like rustic pathways but if you want like if you want something that just sticks out i mean you could always if you're doing a modern if you're doing like a modern pathway or road i would suggest cyan hardened clay and stone slabs so basically and i would suggest doing it straight uh, so, for example, going f go four blocks, then one, two, one, two, three, four. So I'm just going to punch out all these blocks, and then that's four. One, two, three. And I'll punch all these blocks out. So this would be an example of a modern road or a modern like uh, path that you would take. And this is kind of like the outliner block. And then once you've done all that, just replace it with hardened clay. Uh, so it should just give you... And hardened clay looks so, so much like cement. It's like cement roads. It just, lo it just looks so much like it. And that's why I love... That's why I love cyan stained clay so much. And so it kind of ends up looking like this modern pathway. And if you wanted to do so to make it actually like a road, you could always do, uh, you know, yellow lines. Although I wouldn't, if you're gonna do yellow lines, I probably wouldn't suggest. I probably would suggest making it bigger because that's just kind of small. But if you're if you're going to really do yellow lines, I would probably suggest using black stained clay instead of gray um cyan sorry i always think that's gray but it's cyan so that's that and i think there's four base just four basic pathway designs just in case you need them these are pretty much all of the pathways that i use i mean obviously you could do another pathway design is like a garden trail where you could just it's i'm not going to build it actually it's basically just like this just in a pathway form so that's, that's basically all it is. Just mark out the way you want the path to go and then put leaves around it and yeah, all sorts of stuff. So now we're going to get onto the custom trees. <clears throat> so now there is this one, which I built in my gardening episode. So if you want to learn how to build that, you are probably going to have to check this episode. Or not this episode, the last episode. One of the episode before last, second ep the second episode, which is the gardening episode. So this one is supposed to represent like an oak tree, but it takes up quite a bit of wood. So some other tree designs. Uh, let me see here. You could do spur. You could do like uh, these are quite popular trees that people do. I'm not. I'm. I don't exactly like them the best. They're not like the best to me. If you just create like a pillar of spruce wood and then like um you just now you just put make like the leaves really stiff and just going around them and just make it feel kind of 
It may it's like a real spruce tree. It's just like the leaves don't go out in Minecraft, just the leaves don't go out and I've made a mess. This is not what I meant to do at all. Kinda like this sort of thing. Don't make it look symmetrical. With pro tip, whenever you're building trees, never make it look symmetrical. Symmetry and tree and there's n literally there you'll learn this if you start building stuff like this. There's no symmetry in nature. Nature is random and just off. And you see, I don't like this tree design for the simple reason that it's straight. While another tree design is a birch tree design. And if I could find some birch wood, I would be able to show you. You could kind of create a base like this. So kind of, you know, have like a base like this. And what I normally do for just tree trunks. So you kind of just do like this to kind of simulate stems going off in different directions not stems roots oh I said stems and then it kind of like and then like imitate it kind of going into the ground and over here as well you never want to put it face facing up if it's in the ground so maybe like this or no 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 not like that I like that better so maybe like this and then maybe put some right here just extending out these are like these are just make it look realistic and if you have it like on a hill you could just have it continue going down on the hill and so let me just get that so then you want to kind of make it seem as though it's just one it's just one trunk so yeah that's probably good right there nah you just you kind of want to sculpt it until it looks so you kind of want to have this base and then you kind of just want to make it go off in different that make it go make like just different branches go off in different directions. It's so like this, and maybe you can have one extending out like that. And you would make if you want to do like a really fancy tree, I would suggest making this thing like huge. So there's like the raw model, and then you kind of want to just extend it out and put like branches kind of like this and put branches just like this and then maybe make it up make it go up a bit more and then you just really want just want to cover all the access logs and leaves and then just kind of sculpt it just a bit so I'm just going to quickly just finish this tree right here and then I'm going to cut back into the neck um, into the next clip where I'm probably going to just show you how the leaves look and just how it ends up in general. It might not look too, like, it might not look the best now, but trust me, once this is done, this thing will be a piece of artwork. Of artwork? Of artwork is what I meant to say. So I'll see you then. Alright everyone, so I'm back and that tree did not come out how I was, how I was expecting. Not at all. <laughs> <coughs> I was attempting to laugh, but my laugh turned into a cough somehow. So, that is going to be the end of the episode there. We created three new path designs, three <coughs> and two new types of trees. So, in total, we have four path designs now and three different styles of trees. But anyway, I hope that you have enjoyed this episode, and I especially hope that you will come back for the next episode. <coughs> Can't can't speak today. Bye!